Bodybuilders have shaped the industry forever. Supplements, companies, and of course, influencers are all about bodybuilding. Bodybuilding, bodybuilding, and bodybuilding in the fitness community. However, one question that nobody seems to answer is, why are bodybuilders so weak? Bodybuilders are so big and muscular, yet they aren't as strong as they should be, especially for their own weight class. Now, there are a lot of exceptions, especially those who take steroids. However, this video isn't about that. This video instead is about the recreational body producers that you see online. Jesse James West, Alex Eubank, Will Tennessee, and of course, so much more. Why are all of them so big, so muscular, so aesthetic, but aren't as strong as they should be? Now, obviously, they are pretty strong on their own. However, in my opinion, they could be much, much stronger. This video will explain three things. Number one is what happens if you only do hypertrophy training, aka resistance training to build muscle. Number two is what happens if you only do strength training or per se training like a powerlifter. And three, what happens if you combine both of these training styles together? So what will be the result? Today, we're going to find this out. Now hypertrophy training is pretty straightforward. All you need to do is take the muscle groups or the muscle group that you are targeting to muscular failure. When this happens, micro tears will appear in the muscle group. The muscle will repair itself within 48 to 72 hours, a little bit bigger and a bit stronger. If you do this repeatedly for years and years, you will build muscle. But what happens if you only train for hypertrophy? What happens if you only use the hypertrophy rep ranges and the hypertrophy knowledge? Yes, you will build an insane physique. However, your muscles won't be as strong as they should be. Alex Eubank is a perfect example of this. He has been training for over six plus years, and yet currently he can only do 15 pull-ups. Yes, of course, this is above average already, but in my opinion, for somebody who's been training for six plus years and this muscular, he could do a lot more pull-ups in my opinion. If he didn't just train for hypertrophy and added some strength training along with his training program, I think he could probably do 20 plus pull-ups already. Because strength is more about the neurological connection between the muscle and the nervous system, building muscle alone will not build strength. In fact, you can actually build muscle without building any strength at some points. Of course, you will build some strength, but like vice versa, hypertrophy building muscle will not build strength directly. Now, if hypertrophy alone is completely useless, what happens if you train for only strength? To do this, we need another subject. We're going to take Geek Climber, a fellow climbing YouTuber, as an example. In Geek Climber's calisthenics journey, it took him over 700 days to learn a handstand press, a one-arm pull-up in 390 days, and a front lever, well, he still hasn't learned. No! No! So the point is, he has super slow progressions because of one main factor. He lacks muscle mass. Yes, he's very strong. However, the amount of strength you can gain is dictated directly by the size of your muscles. For example, Geek Climber has probably already maximized his strength to 100% and he can't build any more strength until he gets bigger muscles. The reason is, is because the more muscle you have, the more strength potential and the more strength you can build with those muscles. Like I said before, strength is more dependent on a neuromuscular connection. However, if you don't have any muscles, well, there's nothing to connect your mind to. If you only strength train, like hypertrophy, and like vice versa, you will not build muscle. If you only train like a powerlifter, you will not build sufficient muscle mass. Yes, you will gain some strength. However, if you do not implement hypertrophy training for periods of time, you will plateau. And so if doing each individual training style is completely useless on your own, how can you combine the two to create the best training style out there? So how can you combine the two styles of training to become an insanely strong athlete with also a pretty muscular and aesthetic physique? So in conclusion, doing each training style alone is a pretty stupid idea. You have the big muscular bodybuilder who isn't actually that strong and you have the skinny climber who can't gain any more strength after years of training. So if you want to combine hypertrophy and strength to build the perfect body with strength and looks, well, you're going to have to combine this simple formula. Hypertrophy plus strength equals your goals. The first step is to build a muscular body. You do not start with strength training. You start with hypertrophy building a base. If you start with strength training, you will plateau in a very short time. 
In fact, starting with hypertrophy is more important as muscle takes longer to build. You can gain strength quite quickly. However, the amount of muscle you can build takes years to build. For example, Alex Eubanks' physique took over 6 years to build. However, him getting to 20 pull-ups can only take a month or two. Now, after you grinded for years in the hypertrophy phrase, after one or more years of hypertrophy training, you can switch to doing strength training, which means doing lower repetitions, longer rest periods, and higher weights. You want to do strength training next is because you built a good muscular base which means that you can practice the neurological connections and neurological reactions with your muscles and build that muscle mind connection with the movement therefore you become a lot stronger yes! Yes! so at the end of the day if you are a beginner a complete beginner focus on hypertrophy focus on building that aesthetic body with all the powerful and big muscle groups and then switched over to strength training after years and years of grind of hypertrophy. If you are a bodybuilder, you already have a good muscular base. However, you want to do some skills, you want to be strong, you want to lift heavy, then switch to more of a strength training style. For example, Alex Eubank. If he switched to more of a strength, if he trained more like a power lifter, then he would see better results as he'd be giving not only his body a new stimulus, he'd be also building strength training his body to lift heavier weights and once he goes back to the hypertrophy phase he's going to be able to lift more weights and therefore he's going to be able to grow more so you want to be constantly switching between hypertrophy and strength and once you reach your natural limit perhaps you can start training for calisthenic skills but i'll get to that in another video if you enjoyed this video please subscribe i'm trying to hit 1000 subscribers by the end of the year if you do not subscribe come into your house and i'll force you to subscribe